bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at the Governor's Mansion for a reception honoring Olympic athletes from Washington. Joining me right now is Roberto Carcelin from Peru. Correct. Thank you so much for talking with us tonight. Thank you for having me. This was your first Olympics. Uh, tell us a little bit um, what your experience was like and if you had ever trained before in British Columbia cross-country skiing. Yes, well, I started cross-country skiing about five years ago and based out of Seattle and doing basically all my skiing in, in the Northwest. And uh, you came to the Northwest because you met your now wife? That, that is correct, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So you were here at the Northwest. About five years ago, you started the, the cross-country skiing. So you've only been doing it for about five years. Only been doing it for about five years. And five year, years later, um, Competing, competing in the one Olympics. Olympic down and, and the world's coming up next year. The only athlete from Peru in the Winter Olympics, is that right? No, 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 no. Actually, um, I'm the only qualified athlete from uh, Peru. I qualified and then based on that, uh, two kids doing Alpine got invited. Mm, okay. Yeah. So the three of you. The all three together. of us. Yes. So what was your experience like? First Olympics. Well, it's, it's really hard to put in a scale how big it was in the beginning, I couldn't Im imagine what my expectations would be for an event I'd never been before. But I can say after the Olympics, everything's done, it totally met my expectations and way beyond that. Exceeded it. Mm -hmm. Well, I would imagine just getting to the Olympics, such a huge accomplishment. Five years ago, did you set a goal of, uh, I'm gonna try to make it to the Olympics in five years? Or did you take up the sport because you really liked it and never knowing that it would bring you to Vancouver in 2010? Well, sort of. I'm very competitive. When I took the sport up, um, I decided to become the best athlete in, in Seattle and Northwest in Washington State out of all the races we have. But ended up like two years ago, a few friends came up with the idea, why don't go and represent Peru at the Olympics? So that was a, a totally wake up call and, uh, and changed my mind and start setting goals, the, the bar a little bit higher. So at the Olympics, what surprised you or was different than, than what you thought might happen or you might see? Anything really you take away and you were like, wow, I never thought that would happen or that really surprised me? Well, it was basically everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was ready to, um, I, you know, when you go an event like this, you set your own expectations and you can imagine and visualize yourself or what is going to happen next. I think I hit a couple of those spots, right? But the rest of them, they're things I've never experienced before. And just walking into the opening ceremony, that was uh, uh, w way beyond what I, I was expecting. Pretty spectacular. Yes, and the, uh, the march. To your, uh, around the uh, carrying the flag, mm -hmm. uh, it took forever. But it gave me a really good time just to think about things uh, uh, from the last two, two years. And you were in Seattle, all your fans were there with the other athletes and uh, they even had the uh, Peruvian flag and played the anthem. Was it hard not to be emotional? Oh yeah, <laughs> that was really hard. That was very hard, but um, inside myself I was pretty emotional think about all these, th all these things. And proud, I bet. Mm -hmm. Oh, very proud. Yeah, it's an honor. Do you plan to compete in another Olympics? Um, no, I don't think so. I might <laughs> just, um, it, it, I really enjoy it. It's a lot of work, a lot of dedication, but well, it's kind of early to say, but right now I would say no. I'm going to the world next year. Uh, that might be the last big event. So you still plan on, on skiing though? You're, you're still competing when you say it might be your last event, but maybe not. Who knows? You need goals. Yeah. And you just kind of take it day by day or? or? Well, the uh, 2014 Olympic, let's take it that way. Okay. Let's see you next year. <laughs> okay. Well, Roberto, so nice to meet you. Thanks so much and congratulations on competing in Vancouver. Thank you, Sabrina. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers, headline news at the top of the hour.